How's it going everybody? You got Bison here, finally back with another video. It is my first FIFA fight in a very long time. I'm back from vacation for one week. I'm sorry for the lack of videos recently. And this is a promised FIFA fight to determine who is the best Brazilian goalkeeper. Crazy, right? Brazil lost 7-1 against Germany. I hate to remind all you Brazilian fans, they are out of the World Cup, but their FIFA team is still very nice in FIFA. So I'm going to figure out for you guys who is the best goalkeeper. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And here we go. This FIFA fight is underway. Okay, so we're going to start off with Julio Cesar, the actual starter for the Brazilian national team. I reviewed his international man of the match from a while ago, and I was pretty disappointed with it. I still called it the best Brazilian goalkeeper, but he really did not live up to his stats in-game. This card is pretty similar, except it's a worse version of the card, like you would expect. The best quality on this card is the 86 reflexes that are given to him. But just like his international man of the match, his reflexes are very inconsistent. Especially on long shots, he takes a very long time to react as you will see in this next shot right here he takes a very long time to react on long shots that is just simply unacceptable he has to back up get into position and he dives very late a lot of those shots seem to go in on julio cesar's regular card sometimes on one one opportunities he would have solid reflexes but they would be kind of ruined by his positioning his positioning is an 82 which is a little bit low for a goalkeeper and I found it to also be a weakness there would be times where he would take poor angles to the ball you see here he doesn't get on the ground take up space in net and also on long shots he would be out of position he would have to go back into position and of course the long shot goes in because he wasn't in the proper position and his reflexes weren't that good his diving is okay he can extend his body out pretty far it's really one of the big positives I felt with this card handling really not special either basically it's a lot worse than his international man of the match, and although some people find him to be really good, for me, he was just very inconsistent. Next up, Diego Alves. 90 diving, 90 reflexes. This is the main attraction with this card. But for me, this card was actually horrendous. Positioning is 73. Come on, guys. You can't actually think about using this guy in-game. You can see how on long shots, he would have some nice diving and reflexes saves, which where he would fly across the net, taking up a lot of space, and really extend his body. However, on close shots, his reactions were really terrible. You will see it throughout these clips as I slow them down. It's not just his positioning. Um, he's often really out of position. The 73 positioning is basically on par. It's not good. But with close shots, his reactions are pretty late. See how late he chooses to react on this shot from Robin. He doesn't really extend his body out far. Another example here, how just terrible positioning and still reacts a little bit late. And I really found it to be consistently poor for this card. I didn't really consider it. I played about three games and I just didn't like it at all. Positioning and handling, just awful. Definitely better at defending shots than Julio Cesar on long shots, but just one-on-one -on -one opportunities, just a lot worse than Julio Cesar. Last up is Jefferson, who some people feel is the best Brazilian goalkeeper. Is he? Alright, so keep in mind none of these goalkeepers are star options. I didn't find any of them to be amazing, but I think Jefferson is the best goalkeeper out of the three in Brazil. I definitely recommend you put Sirigu in net instead of him. Even though he's not Brazilian, he has the transfer link with uh, Thiago Silva and soon David Luiz. But Jefferson, for me, was pretty good. His reactions were the best out of all of the goalkeepers on close shots. He couldn't dive as far as Julio Cesar, but it wasn't a weakness for me. I felt like he would react a lot quicker on long shots and close shots. His handling wasn't as much as an issue, and most of all, he was not out of position as much as Cesar and Diego Aves. He would primarily take good angles to the ball and get down a lot quicker, much quicker than Alves and Julio Cesar, but also staying in net he usually um, had good positioning. You see once again the crazy reactions on this volley as he is able to deflect the shot out of net and make the save. I really thought that this card was more effective in net overall. It was a little bit close, but this card really had better positioning than Julio Cesar. Better positioning in net, better ability to take good angles to the ball and also get down quicker. And the reactions were also a little bit better on one-on-ones, but also long shots. So even though Cesar's positioning stat is higher than Jefferson's, I felt like Jefferson had better positioning in-game. And he was generally the better card than both Diego Aves and Julio Cesar. He really won the FIFA fight for me. However, even though he's the best Brazilian goalkeeper, 
I think Surigu is better than Jefferson. You can match up Surigu in your Brazilian squad with Thiago Silva in the David Luiz chemistry connection. Although uh, although Jefferson is the best Brazilian, I felt like Surigu is the better goalkeeper to put in your Brazilian squad. Anyways, that is it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this FIFA fight. I will have more reviews and gameplay up soon. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.